All right, guys, welcome back to Ride It, Wrench It. Um, we're going to do a short video on prepping your handlebars before wiring them to put on your bike. Uh, there's a, a common problem with all of them, and I've had it with every, every bar I've got. Um, uh, Paul Yaffe's, I mean, they're expensive bars, is up here in the weld point. Like, these are meat hooks, or miter cut even, where it's just like a 90 degree. Um, there'll be weld slag or metal uh, chips or shards inside of there. And a lot of people, they run into the issue when they're pulling the wires through that, that those metal shards cut through, expose the copper, and then you've got shorts. And then they turn their bike on and it gets, starts throwing all kinds of coats. So last week I put a, a picture up on Facebook, if you saw that. And I, it was hard because, I mean, I'm trying to take a picture all the way through this, you know, and I have a flashlight in, in the hole. And you could see the metal shards sticking out. So... Before you start pulling wires through these bars of yours, it doesn't matter how expensive they are, you need to do some, some looking into them and see if you're going to have to do prep work. I would prep them anyway, just to make this as smooth as possible to get the, the cables through. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I got a little pin light. Basically, all I'm doing is sticking it in there. And you can look all the way to the end down there and get an idea of, uh, you know, what's in there. And that's where I took that kind of kind of blurry picture but um, it was effective all right so I've got this uh, brass brush that uh, hooked up to my drill and uh, I've got two sizes this is the actual size that fits in the bars real tight this one's a little bit smaller I'm gonna start with the smaller one because I want to be able to get all the way in the bar and wiggle it around and knock those shavings off and then I'll go in with the other one and uh, clean the whole thing so let's go ahead and get started on that Okay, so make sure when you before you do it that it bottoms out in there. And basically all you do is just start, start turning it. Now we're gonna look in there again. Looks like I got a little bit on this top edge in there. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now we're going to take a larger size, and this one fits a lot tighter inside. You can kind of see the stuff coming out. All right, much better. Now we do it to the other side. Same things. All right, now I'm just going to blow it out, see what comes out. That was how you prep the handlebars before you pull the wires through to prevent uh, damage to the wires. Okay, so guys, we're in, we're in Margaret's sewing room. We had to come in. It's 100 degrees outside. It's burning me up. So next step in prepping the bars for pulling the uh, cables through is I got some mason line and I tied it to a couple nuts. I'm going to run those nuts in there to get it through. See it? Yep, there it is. Okay. Right. There we go. Got our, got our line in. That's one line. So, what we still got to do is we got to get a second line in here. So, the reason I did one line is because when I pull the next, next ones through, I'm going to pull two through, is this will prevent them from spinning so much inside of the bars. So, that if I got to pull one wire, Hard, wire harness versus you know maybe the twister at some at a time. I'm not pulling them twisting around each other. Um, all that shaking and stuff, that wire spinning around with the nuts on it. And if I had two pull strings in there, it would have twisted them around each other and made pulling individual uh, wire harnesses through a lot more difficult. So now I'm going to cut two more of these lines and we'll we'll tie them on and pull them through to get our two pull strings. Now, the reason I did that is because now it can spin up here and it's not going to spin the two uh, 
strings, pull strings behind that knot and they'll, they'll remain separate. And I'm going to separate them on both sides of the table as well. You can see now they're going in side by side and that means they're also not going to be spinning around inside of the handlebars. Now we're out. I can cut them. Pull them back. I'm going to tape them to hold them in place. Now I'm going to come in here and get the other wire, one of one of one of the pull strings out for uh, the control cables. We'll just pull it back through the hole for the twist grip sensor. Alright, so that's one side done. Now, the reason we're doing our handlebars, we're wiring them ourselves, we've got to do the other side yet, we'll do it, is when you buy I'm sweating in here, that's hot. Um, when you buy pre-wired bars, they wire the control wires through the bars for you, and that's great, but they don't wire the twist grip sensor. They can't, because it's, it's, it's got the big barrel that goes up here. So what they do is they leave a string or a real thin wire in there, and you gotta pull your twist grip sensor through, which means you're still, still routing wires through the handlebars. It's going to be hard sometimes to pull that twist grip sensor through with the wire, the other cables already in there. And it's going to give you just as much difficulty. So I just choose to save 100, 150 bucks that they charge for pre wiring the control wires. And since I got to pull the twist grip sensor through anyway and wire them both together, the other side's real easy. That's a non issue. All right, guys. So there we go. Got all our strings in our pull strings to wire handlebars and next stage is to start pulling wires through. Because the left side is so easy I'm going to do the hard side first. Okay now we're going to tape up the uh, twist grip sensor for the first uh, part of the pull. Um, we're not going to tape to the cables because I don't want to stretch the jacketing of the cable or even stretch the copper or have anything happen where it pulls the uh, the connectors off. So we're going to come back here on the original Harley Davidson jacketing and strip it off there. So I'm probably going to have to get Margaret to help me out with this, with the taping part. So this is how we want it to look when we get ready, when we tape it. Okay, so Margaret, if you can come over here and hold this, these two ends like that. Good. brand new roll tape, I can't find the end. There it is. This Harley Davidson jacketing is thick. It's fat. I wish they would put a smaller type on there because it really causes a lot of bulk. If we're doing things like this. Alright.
All right, there's that. So now, our, even though we pulled, our pull point's back here where the stress point is. So that one's done. Now we gotta tape up the control wires. And we're gonna do the same way on those. I'm gonna push closer though because we got jacket all the way up there. They got a zip tie on that even. We don't need a whole lot of tape on this. There we go. Hold it just like that. We're trying to do this as much as we can. We'll put the camera overhead so that you can see it, but at the same time I gotta get the tape on tight because I'm trying to compress this area as much as possible. I think I'm going to cut that zip tie off. I get that that little zip tie off. It's not going to matter since we're pulling this way. If the jacket's going to move, it's going to move towards the uh, connector, so that's fine. I don't need need it on there. Okay, Margaret, we'll just hold back here, and yeah, there you go. All right, so onwards. Here we go again. Now these, here's what you run into the problem is, <clears throat> you've got your, um, you got this wire here, and if you do it like this, you've got a big bulky mass, so you're going to want to kind of put it behind it, and just let that, let that uh, wire bend a little bit, it ain't going to hurt the wire, that's why they're stranded wires, they're meant to be flexible because you want to eliminate the bulk. There we go, now we're getting there. And I try to make the the front of it kind of a cone shape as much as possible. The way you can do that is just build it up with tape. Alright. Then we put what we call a buddy knot on it, like that. Okay. So that's it's not too bad guys. All right, so I did measure and uh, the control wires. If I don't take them out of here, out of the, uh, the control housing a little bit and get that little bit of extra play, they stop like that far from the hole. So I'm gonna put them on, pull it through, plug my, my extensions on because I really don't wanna cut them if I don't have to. And then when, when I put this back on, I'll pull them back in and the, the extensions will be just inside of the, the, that exit hole. Now, the other thing is, grease, you're going to need it. And I got rubber gloves. It's going to get messy. So, lube it up. get all over your table and everything. Now, I'm not going to go all the way down with the grease yet. I'll add more later as needed, but I do want to get it on part of the start of it here. There we go. Okay guys. This one is our twist grip sensor. And you've probably seen other videos and they say it's a, a push-pull thing. Yeah, it is a push-pull deal.
once you get it in, get both of them together there, now you can kind of do both of them. Can you hold the handlebars? Good. So at this point, guys, they're both around the corner. You see that kind of just so you know, what I did was I separated my strings. So this one's my twist grip sensor on this side. And this one on the handlebars is my control wires. So I know which one I've got to pull. I'm actually going real easy now. And I have enough grease on my hands that... There's the twist grip sensor out already. It's positive. We're close on this. Okay, let's stop for a minute and get this glove off. I need to clean the, the grease off now because I need to be able to grab it with my hand. So as you can see, it went pretty quick. I had to stop the camera there just for a second because Margaret had to get a little pad there to keep the handlebar from sliding around on her. Um, we didn't do anything else to, uh, you know, make it easier during that time. It was just, she didn't have a good grip on it. So it was making it hard to, uh, to keep the handlebars from moving because it is kind of a two-man job. All right, so now let's go ahead and continue on here. stop right there because we actually have too much coming out because I've still got to, to uh, bring it back through the the, uh, the control housing and pull it back after we clean everything up and put the, uh, the extensions on there but the twist grip sensor still can come out to its full amount so hold the handlebar remember you got these notches too for that twist grip sensor that it goes into the handlebars and locks into place. So as you do this, make sure you know where those are. And, I'm, and it's actually in the right position, so that's good. You can see now it just pulls right through. I got I got to brace it here with my stomach. Okay, lift up. Go. Now you don't want to pull it the twist grip sensor in with the cable, you want to push the twist grip sensor in because you don't want to pull those cables out. There you go. That's it. You're in. All right. Now we'll take all this tape off. I'm not going to video taking all the tape off and we're going to clean all the uh, all the uh, grease off of it and then we'll I will show pulling this back so that we can get it around to the uh, through the control housing. So you can see we got all the uh, tape off all the grease cleaned up. There's still grease, you know, inside the bars and stuff. That's fine. Um, these are our extensions that we got. Uh, basically, they're just plug and play. 
I do like that. Okay, now we gotta get this cable back through the, the housing. So that's what I meant about this. And these things barely stick out. So at this point, you have end up having to push them back through until the extensions are inside of the bars or at least real close to it. So I've got it positioned, ready to go on. We're going to put that wire back down in that little that little cup. The holes back here. There it is, here to snap, and it's on. So that's where it goes. And then that leaves you room for your um, brake master cylinder in here. You've got a little bit of place here still, as you can see, to move back and forth. If you look here, still got a little bit hanging out, so I still got access to the uh, quick disconnects. Um, so it's tight, and that's on 12 inch bars. You go any higher, um, you'll have to cut and solder the wires, or you're gonna have to pull that big that big junction through and it's going to be really difficult. If you got grips, this is the time to do grips. Go ahead and stick them on there. Now you can also feel if you if you got the, uh, the little teeth together because it's going to snap back like it's supposed to for the twist grip, grip uh, problem. And then you can put your other housing on your back side of it. And all you're going to do is just finger tight these for right now because once you get it all on the bike, all this is going to have to be adjusted anyway. Because you may have to turn it, you know, to get it to the, the angle that you that you like it and that you're comfortable with. So, you know, like so really it's probably going to be more, more like that. So there you go. All right, guys, so we're going to do the uh, left side now, which is the easy side. Um, I went ahead and pulled these back, taped them back, just to get more access to the, the, the hole down here. Um, I did not grease this side up. Usually you don't even need to, because it goes pretty easily. Famous last words, right? Now watch it be the hardest side to do. Oops. Oops. Still had the covers on. getting around that first first corner it just helps push it in until it kind of stops and then you can get a little tug here so if you push it in until it stops so you can get a little tug push it in a little tug now I gotta undo it here so I can get just enough to get it out to be able to uh, put the extensions on it. There you go, guys. That's how you do that one. Take your tape off and put your extension on and you can put your housing together on this side just like you did the other side. And that was it. That's how to prep your handlebars and get the wires in it. I didn't show doing the control housing on this side. It's the same as doing it on the other side, which I did show, um, you know, put your grips on. You can build the whole handlebar ready to go, you know, at that point. You can see our wires are out. These are our extensions. I had just barely enough coming out to uh, be able to plug them in on 12 inch bars. Uh, 14 inch bars, though, you're, this is going to be up probably in here. It's going to be a lot harder. Um, so you may have to end up like cutting and soldering extensions. What else? Another thing I did is I went ahead and wrapped about 10 layers of electrical tape here um, because these are kind of pulling in just a little bit and I didn't want the bare wires to hit on the edges of the handlebar 
and over time maybe just start cutting through the the, the jacket that way i've got now it's got to get through you know basically a, a new jacket plus the, the cable jacket itself um, so other than that uh, those are nice bars um, again I, I love the paul gaffies they just got such a great uh, meat hook there it's just elegant and these are ready to go on the bike at this point so as always uh, you know, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, visit our website at uh, rideitwrenchit.com.